Congressman, uh, the Farm Bureau appreciates your leadership on this issue, but, uh, and you understand uh, how important it is to agriculture. What, what would you have to say about that, getting it done for farmers, ranchers, and, and business people across the state? Well, the immigration policy of this country, as far as work is concerned, it started at whatever time the first worker came across the border, they came across to work in agriculture almost exclusively. So, you know, immigration has had, it's been a part of agriculture, not only in Texas, but in every border state. And now it's a part of, of agriculture across the nation everywhere. So, you know, we know the agricultural component is a big, big part of this whole issue. So uh, in, in your district, what are, are people telling you, both in agriculture and out of agriculture, about this issue, and, and uh, how, do we, how do we solve it? Well, you know, they're saying they, they, they favor doing an, uh, an immigration bill. They want to be able to be assured that they can, they can have some assurance they're, they're complying with the law so, they don't get, so the people who do the hiring don't get in trouble. But they also want to make sure that nobody's putting any kind of mandatory wages on at a level that quite honestly, as we talked here a few minutes ago, you just couldn't put a pencil to it and make it make a product make production out of it. You got to have the right prices. Now, are they going to allow workers to come in under minimum wage? No. Uh, whatever this bill is going to carry, it's going to carry a minimum wage number. I almost guarantee it. And I'm I'm well aware of the of the challenges to another generation of people coming across to those who will employ at a much lower or lower wage. I'm aware of that and we're trying to stop this flow across the border, but that could happen. However, if it does, I would expect any bill we do to have E-Verify, which would mean if you haven't E-Verified your, your worker, you're gonna find yourself in a, in a world of trouble. So there's gonna be some good things in this for, for, for agriculture, but the, and some safety for them. Nobody's gonna be coming in messing with them if they've done their job and verified that these people are, are, have a work permit, but I'm not sure that, they're going to, that everybody's going to be happy with the salary levels. Well, it, it does sound like a less complicated world for everyone involved. Well, the main thing, I, I, you know, and I hear it both from my farm people and I hear it from my construction people. In, in today's world, somebody walks in with all the documentation. As far as you're concerned, it looks like right to you. Now, when you send it off, it may be three months later, you're going to get a letter back from Social Security saying bad Social Security card. But you can't fire the guy and you can't threaten the guy. You got to tell him to go get another card. It's the silliest damn system I ever heard of. But that's the way they're operating right now. By having something like E-Verify, once that the, the government tells you it's a go, you'll be able to rely and be protected by the government by, because they said it's a go.